Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a very high cataract. Nuclear sclerosis is about in grade 5. We can see radial spokes in the anterior cortex. Let us observe this surgery. This is a 2.8 millimeter steel keratom. An incision has been placed on the posterior aspect of the limbus. Now the keratom goes anteriorly and then uh, downwards and enters into the anterior chamber. And then a side port is made on the left side of the main incision about two and a half clock hours away and in this case I have made only one side port. Now an air bubble is injected in the anterior chamber and then Tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule beneath this large air bubble. Since there is no red glow, this stain will give enough contrast to do the rexis very well, very comfortably. Now the dye is washed out. This is a real time video, no addition at all. So you are watching each and every strip of the surgery. The dye has been washed out. Now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected to fill off the anterior chamber. There is an air bubble. It has to be removed. Some more visco and the air bubble comes out. And now is the time to do capsulorexis. I have taken a 26 case bent needle cystitome. I am going to incise. Here it is. I have incised the anterior capsule, raised a capsular tag, and now to improve the visibility, I am going to apply some visco over the corneal epithelium. This is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose, and the visibility improves a lot. Now I have taken a uterator forceps, I hold the capsular tag, go anticlockwise and do a large rexis. In hard cataracts, nucleus management becomes safe and possible. If the rexis is large about 6 mm, should not be less than 5.5 mm. And now the Texas is almost complete. Yes. It's not a round rexis, but this is a large rexis and very safe will be the surgery because of this rexis. Small alicots or BSS is injected at multiple places. The nucleus is tapped, the nucleus is gently mobilized and the nucleus rotates very nicely. Some more visco is injected and now is the time to introduce the FECO needle. The machine being used is Oatly Cataract 3 this is from Switzerland. The exposed part of the FECO needle should be little more than usual soft cataracts. The superficial cortical lens matter is removed. You can see the radial spokes are gone. And now watch my technique, the submarine jaw. The nucleus is pushed a little down, the tip goes into the substance of the nucleus, travels through the nucleus, the chopper supports the anterior surface of the cataract and as the feconeadal reaches near the opposite equator, the chopper is used to separate the two heminuclei. 180 degree rotation and the two heminuclei are completely separated. 
Now this hemonucleus is again subdivided into two pieces. Usually I divide the nucleus first into four large fragments but in this case I started emulsifying these two fragments before going to the other hemonucleus. But it is advisable that in hard cataracts you emulsi if you just divide the nucleus into at least four fragments and then you start emulsifying. The FECO power, the ultrasonic energy used in this case is 80 percent. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute. Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. So on hemonucleus is managed, we come to the other hemonucleus. Again, the tip goes through the substance of the nucleus and it is shocked. But mm -hmm. see what happens. The apical part doesn't tend to separate. Still, there is some attachment at the apex. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt this whole complex, come at the apex, apply a burst of ultrasonic energy and the two fragments get separated then each fragment is emulsified so this is the third large fragment and it is done now I come to the last fragment At this time, we must take extreme care during emulsification of the last fragment. We may reduce the vacuum, reduce the flow rate to get safety. And if the genule is weak, we must employ the IOL scaffold technique for emulsification of the last piece. But in this case, the jonule is okay, the posterior capsule is far behind, there is no trampolining of the posterior capsule. So, we can emulsify the lens matter at on go. This is a bit of epinucleus and it is done. And there is very little cortex in this case. We can see mm. subconjunctival hemorrhage. In this case, this is because of peribulbar anesthesia. A little bit of SPMC has been injected and now I take a 23G Simco to remove the cortex. There is a very little cortex in this case, but whatever cortex is there, has to be nicely removed. There are some cells sticking to the posterior capsule at 5 o'clock and this is a piece of cortex at 1 o'clock and 12 o'clock. It is nicely removed. On the other side there is no cortex. But there are some cells inferiorly near 6 o'clock. So I have asked for the irrigating probe of bimanual IA and I want to do hydro polish. Hydro polish means you are going to use only the irrigating jet of fluid to dislodge any cell that may be there. The irrigating jet of fluid can dislodge the cells sticking to the posterior capsule and the posterior capsule gets nice bolt. In this case I am going to use a B cartridge so I am going to enlarge the main wound a little bit. So the 2.8 millimeter wound becomes about 3 millimeter. Now the tip of the B cartridge can go in the 
anterior chamber and the intraocular lens is safely delivered in the capsular bag. Otherwise, the lens may get stuck at the wound if we try wound assisted delivery without enlarging the main wound. The eye is a bit dipsetted and there is some fluid collection over the cornea sometimes. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. The single sideboard is closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of the wound. And now a final lavage of the anterior chamber and formation of the anterior chamber with this instrument a 23G Simco. This is a very useful instrument for formation of the anterior chamber. The integrity of the wounds are checked. There is no leakage from any side. Few drops of moxie is applied over the cornea and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Heart cataracts are a big challenge to us. We have to be very careful. If we emulsify the lens matter at the iris plane or in the bag, we don't need chondroitin sulfate. SPMC is a very good viscoelastic substance and we can manage all cases with hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose.